students welcome to the english class of grade 8 today we are doing pronunciation and grammar section of unit 4 before presenting let me ask you one question my dear students can you tell me why do we need to pronounce correctly yes you are right we need to learn pronunciation for various reasons in order to avoid misunderstanding, in order to sound professional, we need to know correct way of pronouncing words. Similarly, in order to say the correct word properly to the audience, we have to learn pronunciation skills. Even though we may not be able to pronounce as like the native speakers, anyway, still we can learn their pronunciation by various ways one easiest way is watching to the english movies or listening to the online dictionary or copying your teachers could be a better way of pronouncing correctly okay my dear students let us begin our class hope you all are ready with textbook and exercise copies and other necessary materials I request you to turn to page number 41 of your textbook. So, let me begin the slide presentation. I request you to look at the screen, please. Okay, what did you see in the screen? As I told before, today we are reading pronunciation. Let's pronounce the words. I hope you will copy my pronunciation and we will together pronounce the words. Okay. So, let us begin with the first word. I think you can see my cursor over here. I will pronounce it and you also repeat after me, okay? Very good. So, this word is behind say after me behind behind let us move to the new next word island how to pronounce it island island very good can you guess the pronunciation of this word allowance 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 very good okay this one now tour 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 okay now let's move to the next word night say after me night very good once again night what is this word ensure Ensure. Ensure. Very good. Can you try this word? Sour. 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 Visual. 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 Side. 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 Manure, manure, manure. Are you pronouncing with me? Yes, that's very good. Now the final word, financial, financial, financial. Great. Dear students, how to pronounce the word as the native speaker? I will give you some idea. Have you heard something about online dictionary? Yes, of course. These days, students are very familiar with online gadgets, isn't it? So, let me show you a visual sample of Oxford Online Dictionary. So, this is the front page of online dictionary. What you have to do is you have to go to the internet browser 
and then you have to type Oxford Online Dictionary and you will get this page. So how to find the word then? Okay, don't worry, I'm going to teach you that also. Can you see my cursor over here? Yes. Now you need to type the word that you want to learn the pronunciation of over here in the white part of this bra of this uh, you know screen. Then well, once you type the word, then you get this type of screen. Okay. Now you can just touch this volume button and then it will teach you how to pronounce correctly. So can you do that? Of course, I know that you can do, you are very intelligent. Okay, my dear students, now let us move to the words that are given in our textbook. Let us pronounce that one by one. Okay, so I will show you, I will make you Listen to the correct pronunciation of the word. Behind. Did you hear? Very good. Behind. Yes, behind. You repeat after the word you listen, okay? Behind. Very good. Now let us move to the next word that is given in pronunciation section of your textbook. How do you pronounce it? Island. Very good. Island. Island. Yes, island. Island. Okay, island. The red color over there is in I sound. How do you how is the how do you pronounce that I? Island. Okay. E. Allowance. 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 Very good. Allowance. Are you also pronouncing? Allowance. Right. Let me move to another word. Tour. 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 Okay. Next word. Night. 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 Good. Next word. Ensure. 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 Shower. Sour. Shower. Shower. Visual. 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 Sight. Side. 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 Now let us move to the next word. Manure. 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 Next word. Financial. Financial. Okay, my dear students. Thank you for pronouncing with the native tone. Now we will move to grammar one section of our textbook. Complete these sentences with missing words or phrases from the reading text. Discuss with your friends to identify the tenses. Now you need to have a textbook with you in front of you in order to in order to do this exercise. So I request you to turn to the visit to Mustang lesson reading text of your textbook. So I will show you the portion of the text which will help you in filling the gap. So let us read this so that it will be easy for you to find out the correct word to be filled up in the blank space. Mustang has only been open to tourists since 1992. 
So, what should you insert in the blank space then? Yes, has only been. Correct. Let us move to the next question. On the first night, I dated in Pohra to meet up with my tour group. Let me show you the portion of the text which will help you in filling the gap. On the first night, I stayed in Pohra to meet up with my tour group. So, what should be the word that you need to put in the blank space? Right, stayed. Question number C. Next day, we did that our trip from Tatopani to Kagbeni. Next day, we continued our trip. See, the correct word is over here. Okay. So, I hope you can also identify the right word in your textbook. Very good. You need to have a pencil with you. You can underline the correct word in your textbook also. And at the same time, you can note down the sentence in your exercise copy. Continued. Very good. Now let's move to question number D. They did that in the colors of flax. So they have been symbolized in the colors of flax. Yes, they have been symbolized in the colors of flax. That is the correct word you need to fill up. Let me move to question number E now. I dot 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 refreshed and warm. Okay. The, the author of the narrator or the, the narrator says that she felt. How did she feel when she woke up the last day of her journey? She felt refreshed and warm. The correct word is felt. Very good. So, my dear students, I hope you did grammar 1a. Okay. Now, let us move to exercise b of grammar, uh, our textbook. Let us move to exercise b of page 41. Read the given paragraph carefully. Underline the verbs in the sentences and identify their tenses. Question number 1. You need to do what you need to do? You need to underline the verbs in the sentences. And then you also need to identify the tense. Can you guess what which word is verb in this sentence in question number one? Have you ever had a frightening experience? Which one is the verb? Okay. Yes have and then had okay have and had both are the verbs used in this sentence now it's your turn to guess what is the tense of this sentence okay very good it is present perfect tense because the sentence uses have and had okay have had have you ever had a frightening experience okay so this is present perfect tense similarly let us identify the verb of question number two i have had one here also have and had isn't it so as just like question number one the tense of, of this sentence is Present perfect has have plus verb 3, isn't it? Very good. Now let's move to question number 3. It was all right at the beginning, but suddenly a problem occurred. 
What is the verb over here? Yes, was. Okay. Then occurred. Okay. It was all right at the beginning, but suddenly a problem occurred. It is past simple was and occurred. Let us move to question number four. The captain of the plane said to us in a very calm voice. The captain of the plane said to us in a very calm voice. What is the verb? Please guess it. It is said. Okay. So, said is past simple tense. That is the past form of the verb. So, the tense of the sentence is past simple. Yes, you are right. Let us move to question number 5. I felt a pain in my chest and people started to cry. Felt. And then another verb is also there. Can you identify that? What about this word? Started. Okay. Felt and started. Both are past form of the verbs. Felt is past form of feel and then started is the past form of start. So, the tense of this sentence is past simple. That's good. Now, let us move to question number 6. After some time, we landed successfully back at the airport. What is the verb over here? Land, landed. Yes, this is the past form of land. So, the tense of the sentence is simple past, past simple. Okay. I sigh with relief. Where is the verb over here in this sentence? I is personal pronoun. Okay. Then, of course, sigh is a verb, past form of the verb. It is again simple past. Question number eight. Since then, I have decided not to travel in a Plain. Have decided. Okay. Have decided. Have plus present. Have plus past form of the verb. That is, then what? Present perfect. Okay. Now, let us do some more practice on tense. Guess the tense of the sentence. It's your turn to do practice with the tense. I was curious to see a place untouched by tourist. You can guess the word in blue over here, in blue color. What is, what does that word denote? It says something about past. Was, no. Was is used to say about past events. So, the Tense of this sentence is past simple. Similarly, the staff of the hotel provided me with cushions and blankets. Provide is the first form of the verb. Provided is the past form. So, again, past simple. The tense of the sentence over here is past simple. Similarly, Next day, we continued our trip from Tatopani to Kagbeni. Can you see the word continued over here? Of course. So, the word continued is the past form of the verb continue. So, the tense is past simple. Next sentence Jackson has eaten. His lunch, the plate is still on the table, has eaten, has eaten. So, it is present perfect. 
Okay. Similarly, the Smiths have spent a week in Paris recently. Have plus spent. Present. Perfect. You are doing great job. Your guess are correct. Okay. Dear students, hope you have been doing the exercise with me. Now, let's do exercise C of the same. Continue. We are continuing and we are in exercise C now. So, fill in the blanks with one of the two alternatives given in the brackets. We have to choose the correct option given from the bracket and fill up the correct word in the gap spaces. Okay. So, let's try. The sun da, 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 set or has set at 6 p.m. yesterday. I request you to be careful about this word time adverbial ex yesterday. Since this yesterday is about past, what should we use? Set or has set? Correct. Set is the correct word. Let's do number B now. Get up. The sun da, 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 rose or has already risen. Get up. The person is talking about the current time. The sun rose or risen has already risen. The person is talking about Present perfect tense. The sun has risen and now also it is not a long time that the sun has risen. It's recently the sun is there above in the sky. Okay, so it is present perfect tense has already risen. According to the sentence, we need to choose this option. Now, number C. Jackson the duck has eaten or ate his lunch. Lunch. The plate is still on the table. Jackson has eaten or ate because the plate is still on the table. The sentence is not talking about long past. It is talking about recent past. Okay. The effect is still now. The plate is still on the table. So the correct word is. Correct tense is present perfect has eaten. Jackson has eaten his lunch. The plate is still on the table. You have to keep notice of the second part of the sentence over here. So, according to this, this second part, we know that he has recently eaten and the plate is still on the table. We are talking about recent past. Similarly, number D, Jackson dot 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 ate or has eaten his lunch at 11 yesterday. Yesterday again, just like question number A, in this case also the sentence is talking about some event that has happened in the past yesterday. Okay, So, Jackson ate his lunch at 11 yesterday. Very good. Now, question number E. Levi and Simon da, 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 friends for a long time. Where or have been? Which one is the correct word? Can you guess? According to the sentence, they are still, they, it is, their friendship has not ended. They may be friends still now also. So, they were friends since the past and they are also friends now, have been. Okay. So, okay. Now, it's time to do the next set, sentence. F. Dot, dot, dot. Have you posted or did you post the letter last Sunday? Last Sunday. See, you have to keep notice of this. You have to note down these words. Last Sunday means... The time has already passed. It's gone. It is last Sunday. So, 
did you post is the correct answer that is the correct option okay similarly the smiths dot dot, dot spent or have spent a week in paris recently 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 means not a long past okay recent recent past so it is present perfect have spent good now number h mega dot dot, dot run ran or has run two marathons last year he could not succeed with either he could not succeed with either mega ran two marathons last year it's because we are choosing ran it's because the event is about last year so past form of run ran is here this is the right answer now let us move to next i dot dot, dot my keys yesterday lost or have lost yes by now you are already expert right so i lost my key yesterday okay it is yesterday is past so lost past form of the verb lose sumina dot dot, dot has lost her keys this evening she is at my home sumina is still at my home okay probably she is searching her keys so it is a recent past it is not a long past so sumina has lost her keys this evening is the correct form of the verb dear students now let us move to exercise d complete the given sentences with one of the suitable verb forms from the box there are different verbs given here in this box you have to choose the correct one and fill up the gap spaces okay hope you are ready so let's begin then richard the the dot football yesterday what should be the correct word can you guess have forgotten planted haven't eaten it doesn't suit over here right so what about this word played yes you are right richard played football yesterday now next they did it at their car again it looks new they what what should be there have not finished no it's not correct they have finished no then what they have done something that made their car look new so they have what about this option yes very good they have washed their car again it looks new last year some of my friends dot 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 to italy they went to italy because it is about last year okay they went to italy similarly juni and bikram dot 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 their homework now they can play they have done something to their homework probably they have finished right over here the correct answer is over here have finished their homework very good you are doing the exercise with me right that's great that's great okay i did it at my parents two days ago what two days ago okay it's about past event so what do you think is the correct answer yes right called is the right word similarly number f we did it at another country before we what went or what 
have not visited. See, we have not visited another country before. Now, next one. The Smiths delivered a new house in 2001. Okay. Remember this 2001. It is 2023 now. So, it is about the sentence is talking about past. Okay. Quite a long past. The Smith bought a new house in 2001. Past form of buy. Now, next one. I'm sorry, but I did it to do my homework. What should be the correct word over here? Have forgotten? Did you say this? Okay, I'm sorry, but I have forgotten to do my homework. Next is, the girls did it their lunch yet, yet, okay. Okay, why ET yet? Still not completed action. Okay, it denotes that it's still the action is not completed. So, the girls haven't eaten their lunch yet. Okay, now next one. They dudded some trees last week. Okay, we have one option remaining planted, right? They planted some trees last week. The action was completed. The action of planting trees was completed last week. So, planted. So, my dear students, we have completed exercise A, B, C and D as well. Now, it is time for you to assign some writing work. So, let me give you some little assignment. Write a short paragraph on your frightening experience using past simple and present perfect tenses. You can begin your paragraph this way. So, in our previous lesson as well as in today's lesson, we have learned something about expression using simple past and present perfect tense. So, you have to use those two tenses in order to express experience, okay, past experience. And this time, why not some frightening experience? So, you can begin your paragraph this way, okay. Last year, I had a frightening experience when I got lost in a dense forest. See, had a frightening experience, it is the the, the sentence has past tense. When I got lost in a dense forest, okay, the person got lost. In the dense forest of Sauraha, I have never had such incident before. So, the writer has, has to say that I have never had such incident before. Past tense as well as present perfect tense, both, okay, have, then had. Okay, so this sentence over here is present perfect tense sentence. So, you have to use simple past as well as present perfect tenses in order to express your expression, experience of the past. Is that okay? Okay, thank you my dear students. I thank you for actively participating in today's class. Hope to meet you in next class. Namaste.